y'all. It's Barbara from Divine Creative Love. And for this Bible journaling page, we're going to be looking at 1 Timothy chapter 4. Uh, there's several verses in here that are important, but especially verse 8. Rather, train yourself in godliness, for the training of the body has limited benefit. But godliness is beneficial in every way, since it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. So this is just really interesting that uh, Paul was writing to Timothy and explaining how to kind of keep a close eye on himself and, and uh, train and practice godliness. So I made this list of points, uh, some of the things that Paul said, such as work hard, don't be afraid to struggle, uh, be an example to others, and work diligently and keep a close watch on yourself. Uh, stay true to what is right. And then I made a list down at the bottom here that's kind of my personal practical takeaways based on uh, kind of sports and physical training. So just like in sport, uh, you should get out of your comfort zone and like a great workout. It makes you sore, but it's worth it to do that. And then keep your eyes on Jesus, of course. Work hard as for him. And then keep an eye on your technique, uh, just like playing sports. Uh, technique is so important in daily life. Your faith practices and behaviors, they're important to keep ourselves in check, but also to serve an, as an example for others. So that's kind of my key takeaways from this passage. And those are the things that I'm going to be wanting to write down in my journaling. So I made this hand-lettered sketch that just says train for godliness, and then I picked out the color palette that I wanted to use. Um, you can always pick out different colors, but these just are gold and silver and bronze and represent kind of, you know, striving for, um, for striving for something higher. So this whole process took me about an hour, so I'm speeding it up so it, uh, it's a lot shorter for you. And I'm starting with uh, one of my favorite things to use, which is gelatos, just creating a, a really light background for the page. So if you've never done this before, it's really easy to use gelatos as watercolors. You just smear it on uh, some kind of palette, like like the a hard surface, like a plastic plate or something, and then just spray it with water and you can use it as watercolors. So I'm just uh, applying it to the page with a paintbrush. And I should note, this is the Illustrating Bible, so I did not prep the page at all with anything since the pages in the Illustrating Bible are thicker. But if you're using a normal journaling Bible that has really thin pages, you might want to prep it with gesso first. Um, and I'll link to that video in case you need it. But the Illustrating Bible does really well without any prep. One of the things that I really like about the gelatos is that they're so transparent. It still adds a lot of color, even if I were using a darker color. So you can use the darkest gelatos color there are, and that still won't uh, obscure the text on the Bible page. So that's always a plus with gelatos. So you can see every time I'm just starting over with a dry palette before I put more of the gelatos down. So you can always add uh, more than one color if you like. I'm just using the one color, which is, by the way, is the uh, Canary Diamond color from the Iridescence 2 set. But you can always add like a um, maybe some stripes of color, or if you want to start with a lighter color and then dry that one and then layer on a, a darker color, or just mix two colors together, you can just do whatever you like. I'm just keeping it basic and just doing the one color though. And I forgot to mention at the beginning, uh, always remember to put a piece of paper or something behind your journaling page to protect the pages behind it. I forgot to mention that, but uh, that is definitely an important step. 
So you can see I've got just a piece of uh, 8.5 by 11 cardstock behind my page. And then also important is just uh, drying the paper between steps so you won't smear anything from that you put down uh, previously. So the next thing we're going to do is just use a light pad to trace the uh, train for godliness. And I apologize for the weird uh, um, light phenomenon with the light pad. So it's got something to do with the way my iPhone picks up the light that sometimes it makes it do weird things like that. It doesn't actually do that in real life though. So I just used a little bit of light tack tape to attach the tracing underneath the page so I can see uh, where to trace. And at this point the uh, power actually went out so I had to come back to it. You can see actually we fixed the, the once I started recording again it fixed the problem with the light pad looking so weird but uh, I realized in a few minutes that I had actually taken my rings off uh, after the power went out and I forgot to put them back on again so oops <laughs> but here I'm just tracing the um, words train for godliness with the pencil you can always trace it with a pencil first, uh, or if you feel like it, just go ahead and trace it with a pen or a marker. I just decided to do pencil first and then go back in later with the gel pen. So this is a color technique uh, black glitter gel pen that I decided to use. Uh, of course you can use any kind of pens or markers that you like for yours. But I'm just filling in all the letters with the black glitter gel pen. And at this point, I remembered that I had forgotten to put my rings back on. So you can see for the script, uh, for the word godliness, I start out just tracing the individual lines. Uh, and then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit of extra thickness on the down strokes. So that's usually how I like to do the hand lettering. I start out with just the lines and then I go back in and add a little bit of thickness. So now it's time to move on to the gel printing plates. So I've got this circle uh, gel plate and this cool stencil and then some gold and silver and uh, copper paints. The copper was a little too reddish so I'm going to mix the gold and the copper to make more of a bronze color. So my first uh, idea for these plates was to start with the stencil, put the paint on the stencil first and then apply it to the gel plate, but you'll see here in a second that that didn't quite work out. So not only was it uh, really messy, but it didn't uh, work very well when transferring the paint from the stencil to the plate. The little gel picked up a little bit of paint, but not much. And then you'll see here, I just totally fumble it in the wrong place on the page. 
thankfully it didn't have very much paint at all on it, so it didn't matter. I got a lot of paint on my fingers. Let's see, this is what happen happens in Bible journaling. Sometimes messes happen. Thankfully it wasn't too bad of a, of a mess. So I decided to try it uh, the other way, adding paint to the gel plate first and then doing the stencil. So you can see this way it leaves a lot more paint on the gel plate, which is what we want. We want like a nice solid gold metal look. So that's really cool. And that's the thing about uh, gel printing plates. They give a lot of little tex interesting texture. And then I didn't do anything else to clean it except just wipe off some of the excess paint. Uh, I waited until after everything was done to clean, actually with soap and water, but for the in-between the colors, I just kind of wiped everything down to get the wet paint off. So this next color, silver, it, for some reason the paint was a little... Uh, more watery than the other two colors. So you'll see here it didn't transfer quite as cleanly. It didn't create quite as nice of a circle. But that's okay. We're going to go back and fix it here in a minute. So like I said before, the uh, copper color that I have is a little too reddish, so I decided to mix a little bit of copper and a little bit of gold to make more of a bronze color. And I'm just using the brayer to kind of roll it around and mix it good and spread it all over the gel plate. And you can really see how kind of floppy the gel printing plates are so they are like you really have to handle them carefully and then sometimes they don't quite uh, make good con contact with the page so for that one I kind of gave up and decided to get my brush and just take a little paint off of the brayer and then do a little texture myself So before I do anything else, just going to dry the paint colors so they'll be sure and not smudge them. And so you, you see how that silver metal didn't uh, get nice, a very nice round shape. So I'm just going in with the silver paint pen and using the gel plate as a stencil to uh, draw a nice circle around it to make make it look a little more defined. And then I decided to go in and kind of add a, just a lot more lines in there and just add some texture. So that way each metal kind of has its own little unique texture. And so my whole idea for these uh, gold, silver, and bronze metals was to use them as backdrop for these three uh, practical application points that I made. So I'm using the Pigma, Pigma Micron pen to write one point in each metal. So the first one is get out of your comfort zone. Like a great workout, it makes you sore, but it's worth it. So doing things like talking to people about Jesus or doing a small act of kindness, just anything that you might not normally do, 
uh, but if you get outside your comfort zone, then it'll help you grow and, and do that more. And then it's keep your eyes on Jesus is the second point to work hard as for him, just like Colossians 3, 23 through 24 says. And you can see here, I was having some trouble with that Pigma Micron pen. I think the tip was kind of wearing out on that pen. I've had it for a long time. So um, I'm going to end up having to get another pen. Thankfully, I had another one as a backup. So as I started writing on the bronze metal with the pen, it just wasn't showing up at all. So I went and got my backup pen. So this is the better pen. You can see this one's way better. So the third point, keep an eye on your technique. So just like in sports or in a workout, uh, how you like how you lift weights or how you play a sport, it's important that you have good technique because that helps avoid injury, it helps uh, with your form, and as, as in life, uh, the faith practices and behaviors you, that you have help you uh, like stay on the right track, and it also sets a good example for others. And then I just went in and uh, went over those letters in the silver medal. A little bit more since they didn't get uh, very dark with the pen that I was using before. And then the last thing that I always want to do with the Bible journaling page is to outline or underline the verse. So I've got these Jelly Roll metallic pens in the gold, silver, and bronze. And I'm just going to outline the whole passage with the bronze color. And then we'll go in with the gold color and uh, underline verse 8. And I really like how this page turned out. I think the gold and silver and bronze medals, it kind of inspires you to think about what it means to uh, give your best for God and to learn how to live a more godly life and just uh, loving God and serving others. So I think it really turned out really pretty cool. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure and uh, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future videos. And thank you for watching. See you next time.